up, y'all? So I'm looking at this sales rep's resume yesterday, and I noticed something weird. The dude had like 20 years of sales experience in the pharmaceutical tech realm, has only worked for like three different companies, and never mentioned at all um, what his quota was or how much he did against it. And I said, bruh, that's bad, you gotta fix that. What are you doing? And then he said, well, you know, I'm from a generation where I don't wanna come off as being too braggadocious or too ostentatious, whatever you wanna call it. Dude was turning 50 pretty soon. And I said, I don't know what kind of generation you're from, but that's not the generation that I'm in or the one that we're in now. Put numbers on your shit, on your resume, on your LinkedIn, make it sizzle. If you want people to look at you and be interested in talking to you, put some compelling numbers on there. Well, BC, what if I ain't been hitting quota? Yeah, fuck if you ain't been hitting quota. You've worked at the same company seven years, you can't be that bad, they kept you around long enough, you probably ain't losing money on you. It is well understood that most reps aren't hitting quota right now, or really at any collective point in time. And at the same time, uh, most reps don't, hit, I mean, if anybody hasn't hit quota at some point over a 20 year career, that's a red flag. Some companies have bullshit quotas where nobody has ever hit quota, and like the president's club is 80%. Just because you've been hitting quota doesn't mean that you're necessarily good. And just because you ain't been hitting quota doesn't mean that you're necessarily bad. By the law of averages, every sales rep is more or less mid. But regardless, if somebody's looking at you for a new sales job, they're trying to assess a fit. And being able to talk about your accomplishments using quantification is going to help regardless of if you're hitting quota or not. All right, so let's say you ain't been hitting quota, but you've been with the same company for a long time. That's a good thing. Um, maybe you are the last remaining rep that 500 people have either left or been laid off due to underperformance. You can mention stuff like that. Perhaps you closed the largest deal in your team or your company's history. List that, but quantify it and add context. Here's what our average deal is. Here's what I brought in. Add in pieces that make it compelling. Like maybe you landed a new partnership or did a really popping expansion or just landed the biggest logo that ended up converting a bunch of other new logos for the rest of your sales team. On another note, if you feel like you're good but you ain't hitting quota and you feel like your company's quota is too high and it is, fucking leave. Cause that shit's demoralizing. And overall, it just does look better if you have been hitting quota and you can say that and you're not lying. But don't lie on your shit. On another note, if you don't have anything besides not quoted to talk about, like if you ain't pulled off anything that nobody else has in any of your sales orgs, you ain't been hitting quota, your average sale and your close rate and all of that is lower than everybody else, just go learn a trade. If you know somebody who's looking for a new sales job or even just another job in general and they're spending way too much time applying to jobs, sign up to my free newsletter, Applying to Jobs Sucks, below for tips on how to quit doing that so much. If you need help with LinkedIn, resume, getting, you know, freaking jobs or interviewing, any of that, you know who to follow.